Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the LCD screen in the HTC Desire 626. So first thing you want to do is make sure that your device is powered off. So next what you want to do is you want to grab the phone and you want to pry in this right here. You want to pop this out and then what you can do is you want to remove the SIM card and the memory card if you have one in there. Then you just carefully pry right here. You can do it with your thumbnail if it's strong enough and you can just carefully work your way around. Just keep working your way around and the whole back lifts off just like that. So next what you want to do is you want to remove, there's a red sticker right here on top of one of the screws. You want to remove that and you want to remove this sticker right here. So next what we're going to need to do is use a Torx size T5 screwdriver and we're going to need to remove six of these screws that are Torx and then we're also going to need a Phillips screwdriver size 000 and we're going to need to remove two of these screws that are Phillips. There's one on this end and one on this end, they're Phillips. So you have to make sure to lay these out in the right order so you know exactly how you took them out, so you know where they go back in. And I'll include a link in the video description for any tools that I'm going to be using today during this repair or any parts that I'm going to be replacing. Anything that I think might be helpful to you, I'll include links in the video description, so check them out there. So now when you take all these screws out, don't worry, these are all the same size except for the Phillips screws. And the only ones you need to keep separate really are the Phillips screws. Just remember they go here and here. So then what you can do is what I found is the best. If you have a pry tool that's shaped like this kind of, or anything that's thin, you just have to be careful. What I found, if you start like right up here in this top corner right here, see how you can stick your thumbnail in there and it starts separating a little bit? What you can do is just do something like this. Get this thing in here and get it started and just work your way down. And it helps if you can like pull up a little bit as you're prying like this. And then just keep working your way around. You can see it's unclipping here as we go. Then all that's left is the top here, but we got all the other sides loose so we can just carefully lift up. Then this whole back comes off just like that. So next, let's go ahead and remove this battery right here. What I would recommend is coming in right behind here with something and just carefully prying up under the back side right here because it's hard to get under the front at all, so we have to do that, and so let's disconnect the battery there. And then you can use something like a plastic pry tool, but be careful you don't use something sharp. And you can slide under here. The battery has adhesive on this side and right here. So you can just slide under here, and as it's coming loose, you can help pull a little bit with your thumb, and then just keep working it underneath, like over here and then under this corner. And then the battery comes loose just like that. See, there's the adhesive I was talking about right there. Then next, we're going to need to disconnect this antenna wire right here. And we're going to need to remove this adhesive tape right here from the headphone jack. Let's just place it on here. We're going to need to remove this tape right here off of this connector, place it here, and this tape off of this connector and place it here. We need to save these for later. So then what we can do is we need to pry up on this white part right here. And we want to tip it up to a 90 degrees, like straight up and down. And this one as well. And then we just need to get in behind with something. I'm going to carefully use this tweezers and just we need just to pull straight back to pop these out of the connectors like that. See that? Straight back. And then we're going to do this one as well, just straight back. Then we also need to tip up this white part here for the headphone jack. And same thing, we need to do it straight up and down. And then we're going to pull this straight back and pop it out of there. Then we also need to remove this vibrator right here because it's got wires soldered into the logic board here. That comes out with the logic board, the motherboard. So we need to slide under this vibrator right here and just rock it. It has adhesive under it and that pops loose there. And then we're ready to start prying out the logic board. So very carefully, we can start right here in this top part. Now you have to watch this rear camera needs to come up with it and the front camera here needs to come up with it. Also watch this headphone jack right here so it doesn't get caught on there. We're going to tip it up like this because of that connector I was talking about earlier and it's connected right here. We need to carefully pry that apart right there. Then the whole logic board comes out just like that. So next I want to show you all the parts that we need to swap over from your old LCD screen to go to onto your new one. This headphone jack here, the earpiece speaker here, this antenna wire here, the charging port, the loudspeaker. So let's begin. We'll start with the headphone jack. You can just stick something in here and rock it a little. And that lifts out. This earpiece speaker, you can just go right in beside here and has rubber adhesive there and that whole part peels off. The next the loudspeaker here just has rubber around here you can just lift in there and pull that out too. The next what we we'll want to do is pull this yellow tape off here. We want to set it off to the side where we remember it. Then we want to pry up on this connector right here the white part. We want to stand that up at 90 degrees and then what we can do make sure this antenna wire is out of its channel here. Then we can just carefully pry up under this corner here. We can pry that up and lift it out. Pull it straight back so that connector can pop out of there and set that off to the side. And now if your new screen doesn't have this wire right here to connect these, you want to peel that up out of the frame. You can just loosen the adhesive tape and you can peel this part up and stick it back down onto your new one. So that should be all the things that we need to swap over to your new frame. 
So now to get the right LCD screen, make sure to get the one with the frame and everything included. It's so much easier. Otherwise, if you get the one that doesn't have all that, then you'll have to heat all around here and you'll have to take this part loose. And it's really a lot of work to do and it's not much more price difference to get the actual screen with the frame usually. So what you wanna do is do that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start reassembly. We're gonna start putting things back over to our new screen. So first of all, let's grab the charging port here and let's set it down in here. And I'm gonna try to connect this connector first since it's kind of a tricky one to connect. Let's do that and let's push that down, this white part here to lock it in. Then we can press down the rest of this charging port right here. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get it snapped in here and here at the same time. But you wanna make sure to do that. Then let's get our wire over here in the channel. Then next grab the loudspeaker and set it right down in here like this and press down. Make sure that the prongs that are sticking up are over that way when you're putting it down in the same direction I am. Make sure that they're on this side. Then the earpiece speaker, we're just gonna grab it and set it down in here. And we're gonna stick the tape back down for here. And the headphone jack, we're gonna grab it, set it right down in here and press down. And then make sure to put the yellow tape back on this connector down here on the charging port to reinstall the logic board, the motherboard. What we're gonna need to do, first of all, is, is set it down in here and kind of tip it like this. And we need to reconnect this connector right here. This one right here, that's the tricky one. And then we need to reconnect that. We'll have to make sure that these are all on, on the other side of it. As we tip this forward, we have to make sure that these connectors are on top like they're supposed to be. Then as we set this down, you wanna watch the headphone jack cable here. And you wanna watch this antenna wire right here so it's not in the way. Watch the front camera, watch the rear camera here. There's quite a few things to watch here. Let's stick the vibrator down where it goes and just make sure everything is pushed down properly. Then let's go ahead and start reconnecting things. Make sure that this white part is sticking up again, opened up so that you can stick this wire in where it goes. Push it in all the way till there and then press that down. Then let's put the tape back on right away. Same for these white parts here. Make sure they're sticking straight up and down. And then let's go ahead and reconnect these ones by getting them fed in there. Push them in as far as you can and press that down. Let's put our yellow tape on. And this connector here, get it started, push it in almost to that white line there. Snap that in place. Grab our yellow tape and put that on this one. Let's reconnect our antenna wire right here. Next, we're ready to reinstall the battery. If your new frame doesn't have adhesive like this, then I'll link to it in the video description where you can find some double-sided adhesive. And go ahead and grab this and set it down in here, the battery. Just press down really well. Watch this antenna wire, sometimes this pops out. You wanna make sure that stays in. Then let's reconnect the battery right here. Put the back frame back on, just grab it, set it down on here, start pressing in all the way down around. Make sure it's snapped in all the way around and go ahead and put all your screws back in. Remember the Phillips screw goes here and down here and all the rest get all the Torx T5 screws. Another step, if you want to, you could return this sticker if you want. You don't need to, but that's up to you. To reinstall the back cover, just grab the back cover, set it down on here, just start pressing it down all the way around. Make sure it's snapped in everywhere. If you took any SIM cards or memory cards out, you can put them back in at this time. Fire up your device and you'll be all set. Thanks for watching.